in module 80 we will discuss professional organizations uh, for teachers in this module we will discuss uh, what are uh, different professional organizations just as an example not uh, in the uh, in, in not naming the list which are available in pakistan and worldwide etc here we will discuss just the conceptual point of view and what are the what are the benefit of those organizations this uh, we will discuss here with the intentions that how these professional organizations are, are providing benefit to the teachers or the individuals Professional organizations uh, throughout the world, national, regional, uh, local, or the internationally, they are providing opportunities for the growth and development of the teachers in the different way. The, the professional organizations are uh, arranging conferences and the seminars for the teachers, um, conference and seminar for the primary school teachers, elementary school teachers, secondary school teachers, college teachers, university teachers, researcher etc and the professional organizations are offering long list of the online online learning resources distance education resources and regularly they are publishing newsletters uh, magazines research journals etc um, with the industry updates means with their institutional updates and the comprehensive very comprehensive websites are available which are uh, which are providing ample in but to the level of the satisfaction to the teacher the information and the knowledge and the practices for the professional uh, development there are different professional organizations here they are just given examples for example um, uh, there there are organizations on supervision and the curriculum development educational management educational leadership teacher training science education special education etc there are national international and regional associations of the teachers they work for they get, they conduct researches they provide a platform for the collaboration for discussions for the deliberations and, uh, and and middle level education here means for the different levels of education primary level has different associations secondary level has a different association university level have different associations in terms of the field, in terms of the level of the education, there are different organizations. And for example, there are the National Association for the Gifted Children, for the Special Children, etc. And there are different benefits. If you are associated as a teacher with any, any, uh, any associations, you will know what are your rights and what are your duties, what are your liabilities, what are uh, your legal defenses in that professions here this is this aspect is more important than more significant in the, in, in advanced countries because uh, the legal aspects and the liability insurances are very important for any legal for any professional practices and the other one is the career development by by scholarship and the grant of the grant to the teacher the teachers need to get a scholarship, need, need to get grants. These different associations, professional associations, provide the platforms to, 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 to share those opportunities. And they, and they also they provide for learning innovative and the problem-solving teaching techniques that what are the new approaches to solve the research, to, to solve the uh, teaching problems and the learning problems to the teachers, to those teachers who become the members. For those pro professional associations, one has to become formally the member to fill in the form. To um, there are certain there the, the most of the professional associations ask for the fees, and uh, it varies from the level of the organization, level of the associations. And that once you are registered, either they give you a volunteer or free of uh, registration fees, or they get the registration fees to become the member. They start sending you the emails and the letters and the newsletters and the research journals and invite you to the conference and the discussions and the deliberations. 
we can say that uh, the time and space and these are not the hindrances for uh, for upbringing of any individuals so the different education and though these are the two important factors are the uh, are the indicators time and space that have the impact on the professional development or the improvement or the development or any phenomenal change or any aspect of the life so this uh, uh, so the, the professional associations helps help in uh, improving in facilitating and improving your, the practice etc